from Ringo Death Star and I wanted to talk to you guys about my top three tips for singing and playing bass at the same time. This is something I get asked about a lot and honestly it's something I still struggle with even after 20 plus years of playing bass and singing. Every once in a while a song comes up that is just really difficult for me so these are the tips that I find helpful and I hope that you will find them helpful too. So my first tip is just to, this sounds really obvious, but just learn the bass part. Like, make it so that it's completely muscle memory, because once your muscle memory takes over, then you can start to free up that brain space to figure out how you're going to fit vocals into your um, whole mix. And you don't have to be thinking, like searching the bass for that next note, which takes up a lot of brain space. I'll just be like thinking, oh, where the heck am I supposed to go next? And then it's really hard to think about singing on top of that. But if you have the bass line down pat, you don't have to think about it, you're kind of on autopilot, then it makes it a lot easier for you to start thinking about vocals. The next step I have for you guys is to take it slow and map it out. And what I mean by that is that I will sometimes even break it down by syllable and figure out exactly what I'm doing on the bass with my fretting and my either finger picking or plucking hand right when syllables come in. For our song Heavy Metal Suicide, the bass line is... The vocal part is figured you would never try. So if you're like, okay, how the heck am I gonna fit this vocal onto this bass line? Slow it way down and figure out when does the first word or syllable come in. Figure. So for this song, there's actually part of the riff that happens before the first word even comes in. Figure. So now I know I don't start until I hit this note. And it triggers me to say, figure. So you could play and go. Um, never it's the same one so it kind of can you can help find these patterns in the vocals and in the bass parts every time I do this figure never so hopefully that's helpful for you I have had <laughs> to go through so many songs this way and literally figure out okay when that syllable is coming in what is happening and once you kind of figure out and map that out it really does set these triggers in your mind so that when you're playing You'll be doing something and you'll be like, oh, I know that when I do this, this is the word that kind of corresponds with this action. And soon enough, the more you practice, it'll just kind of set in and just become second nature for you. My third and final step for you guys is just to be nice to yourselves. This stuff is really hard. And if it wasn't, then we would all just be Getty Lee up on stage shredding and singing, but I'm still working on it even after 20 plus years. So don't beat yourself up. This is something that I actually really struggle with, especially because some songs come easier than other songs. When something is hard for me to do, I am like, oh, why can't I do this? Why can't I figure it out? And I will get into this headspace where I'm really frustrated and I don't want to play my bass because it's just reminding me of how frustrated I am and how, you know, maybe I feel like a failure. I can't get this, what's wrong with me? And perpetuating that is not good for you. And it certainly doesn't make me want to pick up my bass and practice and not practicing is not going to help me get better. I, I think you just need to be nice to yourself. And s at least I have to try and do this, tell myself that it's going to take some time. There's no real rush. You'll get it when you get it. And that's totally fine to learn at your own pace. It's great. You're learning it all, which is amazing. Taking the time to even figure this out, which is already really awesome. So just be nice to yourself because when you start going down that spiral, you're not going to want to pick up your base and practice. So if you are in this zone where you're like, it's okay, I'm messing up, but I'm going to get it. Then you're more than likely going to be like, 
you know, eager to <laughs> pick up your bass and keep trying. So, and that's really the most important thing you can do. Practice is really key. So I hope this was really helpful for you guys. If you are struggling with singing and playing and have more questions, I would be more than happy to answer anything that you guys have to ask. And if you need someone to celebrate with you when you finally get one down, just let me know. I would love to celebrate with you and see your vids of y'all singing and playing at the same time. So I hope this was really helpful and I will talk to you guys soon.